Hi guys, welcome back to another Masters of the Universe review. Today we are going to have a look at Modulock from Super 7's Club Grayskull line. Uh, so he comes in this brown mailer, same as all the others, nothing special. And uh, inside that he comes in this uh, box, the standard Club Grayskull box that Mattel started with and Super 7 have continued with. We take off the outer slip cover, there he is in all his glory. Um, he comes with the two heads, as you can see. Uh, again, very formation based, which is what this whole line is. Uh, the back of the box has a cartoon drawing of him, and then he has a bio as well. So feel free to pause that and have a read. And let's get him out and have a closer look. And here we have Modulock out of his box. So as you can see, very formation inspired. Um, he looks Pretty amazing like his joints are not removable so you can't pull him apart and make different combinations of him the way that you can with the vintage or the classics modulock but um, he does have articulated feet backwards and forwards uh, knees um, uh, leg hip and his leg on the back uh, he has a does he have a waist turn yes and an ab crunch he has ball jointed uh, shoulders bicep cut, elbow um, backwards and forwards, and hands. His hands are removable, I think, yes. Yes, they are removable. Um, and he comes with these parts that you can swap in, which I guess he had in the Filmation cartoon. Um, and what else? Uh, he has this uh, neck piece that is removable and you can take these heads off and just give him one head or however you like. Now, one of my friends received this guy last week um, and he said when he tried to pull the head off, it caused a stress line uh, on the neck piece. So I'm going to heat mine first before I pull it apart. Now he does come with um, this piece as well, which again is uh, uh, something from Filmation, I guess. Um, I don't know what, but there you go. Uh, and his hands, he comes with a spare set but they're just kind of slightly less open hands. Um, I don't, they don't make a lot of sense to me right now. Maybe when I start posing him and photographing him, uh, they'll make more sense. But I mean, yeah, it's just kind of sort of really open hands versus not so open hands. It would have been better if we got a gripping hand, I would think, but um, there you go. Um, and here he is next to uh, classics Modulock. So I've kind of put Classics Modulock together to look like him. Um, I really do prefer this guy. I think he looks better as one piece than all of these little sort of jointed pieces of this um, Classics Modulock. But again, this guy has the, um, the play feature of being able to swap him out and make him into whatever you want him to be. Whereas this guy is more just straight up filmation. But um, there you go guys, that is Modulock. Stick around and I will post some photos. Thanks so much.